how to make special shift base play connection. Base play connection we are using the end play as a base play. This element could accept multiple ball groups and could be shipped per balls. And the edge distance can be adjusted for each ball group. Also, the side shape can be square or skewed, and you can control it individually. Let's say we have a base play. We have uh, the main base play with carry the column, and also we have a. Let's say we have a brace on two side wall, and we will have a gas play. So the base play have to be extend to carry the gas play. Let's start from the regular base play. We just did copy and. Uh, Rename it. Let's call it base play wall. Then go to the connecting builder. Open the base play wall. Then we need add two bow. Uh, we add the main power quantity to three. So we need pick one column and two wall to decide the size of the the bow. Then we add let's say we add the first bow for one side of the wall. We say bow side one mean bow part all in we using the same but the direction we want to use part Two. That's the wall X and the part two Y and also using fake bow and uh, it's symmetric to X only, not X Y. Then we say the first we give twenty and give a uh, eight Y is. And we keep this number. We can adjust later. Then we need to add another bow for the other side of the wall. We can load the side one bow and change the name. Make sure you change the name, otherwise, it will override the other one. So we can keep this. Uh, we need to add the connection part. That's the main two. That's the same. And also the side window, we need to add main part one. Otherwise, when you call the PC2, part two, it can find out because. This list only have one member, so they will get a zero or error. Then we need to add two anchor group for the two new bows. So we say we load the anchor. Say anchor. Side one. It's the same. It's the same. So only thing we need change is the bow. So we need bow six. Just change to six. And save. Then we need add another anchor.
side too. And that's the same, that's the same, change to 7. So add the, then close this, save and adding dialog, base play wall. So we need add psi 1 bow. and psi tuple also psi 1 anchor and psi psi 1 anchor move up 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 start from 5 so bow Deep side one bow. There's five. Six. Side two bow. Seven. Side. Okay. And side two, side two, anchor seven, eight, then. Side two, anchor eight, four, set. Let's try. So anchor looks everything is there. Okay, then we can try to apply. Select uh, Base play wall. Base play wall. Just apply first. Let's select the column side one wall, side two wall. Okay, we missed something. We need to go back to add a bow to the base play. Otherwise, they won't ship for the base play. So go to the base play. We need to add another two bow. That is six and seven. Also, we need to add bow to the grout. Six, seven. Also, template. Six, seven. Okay, okay. Then we can back and then modify. Sometimes the modify works, but if not work, you have to delete the connection and reapply. Okay. So right now you can see the 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 orientation of the base play is based on the first bow, the first bow we given. And uh, this two bow is skewed, but they were using uh, extent play. That is by default it's square. Then we can have option here. Go to the end play detail. If you can 
check the zip for both. Try this one, modify. You can see it's shipped per bow, but by default it's square. Then we go to the dimension. We have an option for scoot. Let's try all scoot. Then modify. Yeah, you can see in most cases this is the word, what we're looking for. Then we can use individual control for the edge distance. Let's say we give three ball group. So the first one is two, and we can say the second one is three, and uh, third one is four. And we can do the same thing. Just try. Modify. Now you can see each edge distance is different. So you can control by this way. And then we need to set the other one for the grout and the template. So you can see the whole ship is getting better. Okay, let's go to the 3D view. Let's hide the, the wall. And we can look at the, the anchor. I have a anchor rod set already. You can use it. In most cases, you don't need to do all connection from very beginning to invent a wheel. You can modify from, a, from a existing one so you can make it easy. Let's say the uh, embed play with thickness. We don't want this play, so we say bad play thickness zero. Yeah, so we have three separated bow or uh, anchor. We can the first one we say using the hooked one. Then we want the second one using a embedded play. So let's see. Which one is changed? See. This one is changed. Then we won't we don't want a hook. So we want the hook length be zero. Modify we can when the the beam or poly beam change to beam, the first time they will have a little problem. If you modify it again, they will be fine. And the other one we can use in, uh, let's say, we can use in a start. And we don't need any embed play.
Kurukçapiriyor. So you can see the bow is there. We have three types of anchor. This small maker could do. And uh, you can shift for different special ships of the base play. And uh, also in the bow option, you can see in the bow slot you have option for slant, short slot long slot and they have an anchor hole if you give the right anchor dimension in the bow data give the bow size even if there's not a valid bow diameter it could be rod diameter then they will use a AISC maximum base plate hole size if you select the anchor holes. Thank you.